Hi, I'm Carl. I don't think that when otherwise left-wing people begin to lie to make their point, begin to use violence to accomplish their ends, and misrepresent people intentionally, whether it is for human or civil rights, whether it is for LGBT or ethnicity rights, whether it is to further an agenda that they think would lead to a more fair state of affairs or not, I don't think they can call themselves left-wing anymore. There are different ways of looking at the political spectrum. Ordinarily, we think that the right wing is conservative, fiscally, interventionist militarily, although that's been blurred by recent democratic administrations, and more or less not in favor of too much largesse when it comes to welfare. But there's another way of looking at left and right, and that is usually in terms of force. The left, at least when it is in its graces, perhaps more so than the right and perhaps unfairly but nevertheless, is usually associated with the hippie, the peace-loving politico or pundit, the patient, the transcendental, if you will, the compassionate, the one or the group that is given to largesse, generosity, and forgiveness. And the right is usually, perhaps unfairly, but nevertheless, associated with force. Forceful use of religion, forceful use of law, militarism. Again, politically, militarily, policy-wise, these lines are often blurred. But I don't think it would be unfair to say that it is usually the left which is going against war, militant, and overreaching police action, and it is usually the right which is advocating it. Both sides think that they are advocating such things in the name of goodness. But I think that it has nothing to do with their agenda and more to do with their behavior. I don't care if you want a welfare state or you want a libertarian state. If you use violence, more importantly than in the political sense, which refers to collusion between industry and the state to take advantage of the people, you're a fascist. If you want to restrain yourself and be patient and generous, then you're a leftist. So today, the social justice warrior is becoming a right winger especially when he or she misrepresents the truth, skews the truth, lies, disinvites intellectuals who merely want to speak and express their expertise or opinions, and uses violence. The left is no longer the left. The left is the right by virtue of the fact that they want to use force. Now let me use a very simple example to prove my point. When we are young, or when we are guardians of the young, we are not entertained, and we do not entertain when the excuse given is I or he or she had a good reason. If one child is unfair to another child, cognitively, verbally, or physically, it's just wrong. It's force. It's violence. This is usually associated with the right. And so, the right is where you are if you're lying, misrepresenting the truth, disinviting people to express themselves, or using violence to stop them. Today's social justice warriors, today's political left in the extreme, is no longer left. They are right-wingers. They are fascists. If you want to say that you're a decent right-winger who believes in fiscal conservatism, personal responsibility, so a lessening of largesse in the welfare sector, then you're just a conservative. If you want to be someone on the left who is responsible, who is generous, who believes in largesse, who believes in patience, 
and listening and being self-effacing, if you will, then you're just progressive. But you're not a true left-winger anymore if you're using violence, lies, coercion, or disinviting people or preventing them from speaking. You're just a fascist. You're a right-winger. Thank you.